If you have a Wix account, either free or premium, you can check who is accessing your page through the Google search. You can do it using the Google tool called Google Search Console, and I am going to teach you how to do it. It will probably be the first option that appear on your result. Now you can click on Start Now and log in to your Google account. When you be logged in, this is the screen you see. On your left side, you have the option Domain, in which you can add your domain, probably if you have a Wix Premium account. But if you are using the Wix free URL, let's enter it on URL prefix. In case you already know your URL, you can enter it now. If you don't know it, I'm going to teach you where you can locate it inside your Wix account. To do so, let's open your Wix account. After logging into your Wix account, this is the screen you see. The URL should be located underneath of your site's name where I'm pointing now. In case where your site wasn't published, we will have to do it. To do so, click on Edit your site. Now that we are on the editor, you need to publish your site. To do so, on the right top corner of your screen, you see the button Publish and then click OK. Now you can go back to your dashboard and you need to refresh the page to be able to see the modifications. Right, now we have the URL. Copy this information and paste it on your Google Search Console on the URL prefix. After pasting it, click on Continue. A new screen will appear, and the information we will need is the one called tag HTML. Click on the arrow down and copy the information inside the gray space that you can see. After copying it, let's go back to the Wix page. Now you can see on the left side of the screen the option Settings. Inside Settings, you see the option SEO. Click on it. Now a new screen will appear and you'll see the option Advanced SEO. If you scroll down the page, you see the blue banner with the option click here. You can click on it. The editor will open and a new dashboard will appear. You can scroll down the screen and it seems different now. Where you had the blue banner, now there is a space for typing. Now you need to paste the information you copied from the Google search inside of it. Once you paste the information, you can close the blue screen and publish your site again. Now you need to go back to the Google search console page and click on Verify. Now Google is verifying that this site is actually yours through the information you just added into your site. Click on Go to Property. The information from this screen can take a while to display as you just registered your domain or URL. Just wait a few days and when you return there will be more data available. Also in this screen you can find the option to submit your sitemap. Sitemap is used to tell Google that you just added your site and you'd like to have it updated on their Google search. To do so Click on Sitemaps. If you click the, on Sitemaps, this is the screen you see. You can see that the URL we registered 
or the domain you registered is there. Right in front of it, you have an empty space saying enter sitemap URL. You only need to type inside this camp sitemap.xml. Please don't type sitemaps.xml with an S at the end or you will get an error message, as you can see in the screen. If you followed all these steps, your account is now settled. Now you need to wait some days for all these functionalities to work. For the sitemap that you submitted, it can take from 4 days to 4 weeks for Google to go through your entire site and update the information on the site search.